Hey, everybody, it's the coach. Welcome to the special Saturday edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Ahead, we'll see the former MVP, Cam Newton, and the Carolina Panthers as they square off against the number one overall pick, Kyler Murray, and the Arizona Cardinals. With that, let's get out to the desert. Standing by in Glendale, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. We find ourselves at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. So this was the scene a moment ago. The Cardinals emerging from their tunnel, and we are ready for football as the Cards get set to match up with Cam Newton and the Carolina Panthers. Brandon Gaughton and Charles Davis on hand. And this is a game where the defenses, they need to be on their toes because you've got quarterbacks here, yes, that can throw the football, but they can also run it very well, too. Mobile quarterbacks. Remember, for the longest time, they used to tell the quarterbacks, stay in the pocket. We don't want you outside of it at all. Nowadays, that mobility, truly an asset, and people are game planning for it. As a scout told me recently, we are actually working with what the colleges are giving us nowadays. Gonzalez now to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Cam Newton ready to lead this Carolina Panthers offense. And week one after the game, Charles, he admitted, hey, I was a little rusty. But remember, he only played three series in the preseason. Yeah, 25 of 38, 239, an interception by Aqib Tlaib against him. Ran the ball only three times for minus two yards. Didn't look like the normal Cam Newton. I think he'll round into form. But they will have to think about sending some deeper routes against opponents coming up because they've got to loosen up the line of scrimmage to get the run game going and give Cam a little bit more space. Newton on first down. And right side caught Hogan. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Here's second and seven now from the 28. A first carry for Christian McCaffrey, who made his first Pro Bowl last year. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Speaking of McCaffrey, boy, he was used a lot in week one, Charles. 128 yards on the ground. He also had 10 catches for 81 more yards. That's 209 all-purpose yards. I mean, he's unbelievable. He's one of five players with 10 or more reception, 120 more rushing yards in a single game in the Super Bowl era. And this is what we saw last year as well, partner. They used him in a big way. He hardly ever came off the field. I hope they're developing an alternative for him so he can get a few plays off this season. Otherwise, they'll use him up way too quickly. And they're going to get about three here out of this first down run, and that'll bring up second and seven. A gain of three, second down. And the 11 defensive starters for Arizona. Safety DJ Swearinger brings not just athletic ability to the field, he also brings a strong belief that he can get to the football on every snap. An absolutely fierce hitter, you can feel his intensity even when you're sitting down and having a meeting with him prior to the game. On second down, McCaffrey. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 12 yards go. there and a first down. Here we go. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said write down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it could be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Let's go, let's bring it, let's bring it. Cam's gonna run the option right. And an alley to run. 
in. Had some space to move right away as he's all the way up to the 30. He'll get eight on the keeper there. It'll be second and a couple. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Read option, quarterback kept it. And while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle prevented it from maybe going all the way. From the 30 on second down, Newton over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. That one covers 29 yards, first down. Well, they're piecing together a nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it without our help. Because you remember when we sat in, with the, in the production meeting with them to talk about this and, hey, you know, how are you guys going to come out of the gate? I know I offered my help with a few plays, and they didn't I, seem to I want it. I didn't offer mine. You, know, you, were, you were the <laughs> smart one. Whatever they're doing, though, it's working really well. They go play action here on first down. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me that option of running play action and maybe throwing it. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. What tight end? Hey, 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 we got three down, three down. Check safety, check safety. Newton now to throw. And he will score. Touchdown, Panthers. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Panthers take it right down and score on the opening drive. Solid finish to a solid opening drive, and that's the threat that he represents. He can take off and score on you. What he makes it is 11 on 11 football because a lot of the times the quarterback isn't much of a runner, so you don't have to account for him. Well, you do with him, and now he actually gets a lead blocker instead, and he's able to cash that one in. Extra point attempt here still to come. And this will be good to give the Panthers a 7 to nothing lead. So that one, an eight-play drive, it spans 75 yards. And the final piece to the puzzle was the Cam Newton touchdown run. Kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. The top pick, Mr. Kyler Murray, bringing out the Arizona offense. It was an Arizona offense that really started slow in week one against Detroit. Came on late to send it to overtime. But you look at Kyler Murray's numbers, Charles, he threw the ball 54 times, 308 yards. And they hated the fact that he had to throw it that many times. But I think their head coach, Cliff Kingsbury, I don't think, I know he said that the first three quarters of offense were as bad as, as he's seen. And that's why they had to fill the air with footballs in the fourth quarter to make a great comeback and walk away with a tie. Those 54 passes, by the way, only one short of Sam Bradford's 55 for the most by a rookie in NFL history. This is David Johnson, the former All-Pro. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. And if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. On first and 10, here's Murray over the middle, and it's incomplete. Christian Kirk, the man he was looking for. That'll bring up second down. 
And let's look now at the offensive starters for the Cardinals. We're all looking forward to watching David Johnson bounce back from a rough season in 2018 because we know he has 2,000-yard potential. 1,000 on the ground, 1,000 in the air. And with a new offensive-minded coach in Arizona, look for his numbers to truly increase in 2019. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. From the gun, a run for Johnson. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. And the starting defense here for the Panthers. Eric Reed is a safety as you can use all over on defense, both in the box as a tackler and back deep as a cover man. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. Throwing is Murray on third down. Johnson with a completion over the middle. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard. It's that. Give him seven on the play, and it'll be fourth down. Obviously, they didn't get everything they wanted on that completion, but... They put themselves in a spot where you've got to at least think about going for it. I know where we are on the field, but still, you've got to think about it, don't you? On fourth down, here's Andy Leon to kick it away. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. Panthers trot back onto the field here, and they do so at 0-1 after that loss to the Rams. Now, look, the Panthers were at home. You knew it would be tough, though. They're playing the Rams, defending conference champions. Now you look ahead to Week 2, Charles, and they're going to play Tampa Bay. So that's an early division matchup that could have a lot of importance later in the season. No doubt about it, because it was just a couple of seasons ago that three teams qualified for the playoffs out of the NFC South, the Panthers being one of them. They have to have this game in a big way early after dropping a winnable game against the Rams in week one. And it's a short week, remember that. That game on Thursday this week. A throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. That would have been a great catch, but it's real difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he'd been able to haul that one in. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Now a toss. This is McCaffrey. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Cards going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. Out of the gun, Newton. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. How about this offense already feeling good about themselves with a touchdown already in their first drive? It's certainly come out firing, even though that one was incomplete. With the 7 nothing lead, more apt to take a shot like that downfield? Hey, you're one to the good. Go ahead and try and press your advantage. So on fourth down, kicking it away here, Michael Pilardi. Deep for the Cardinals, Christian Kirk. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And the Cards will take over first and 10. Cardinals marching back onto the field here. And that game against Detroit that you and I were discussing earlier, Charles, from week, week one, I, it's not very often that you feel good about a tie, but given where they were at half, I mean, something clicked late in that ball game, and they came all the way back to tie the game and send it to OT. Detroit walked away from there, flew home feeling horrible about the tie. I think Arizona probably energized to get the tie for the points you just made. They were down big, made a big rally in the fourth quarter, 
their offense finally moved the ball, so they feel like they've got something they can build on as they move forward. Yeah, it just depends on your perspective, but in this case, if I'm Arizona, I'm pretty happy with the tie that they got on Sunday. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Here we go, D. Get off the field. Off the draw. Here's Johnson. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A gain of 13. It's a first down. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Back in Arizona, second quarter action. It's the Cardinals in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. Now on the heels of that run by Johnson, here's another first and ten. Murray now on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Michael Crabtree, the intended receiver, and it's second down. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Out of the pistol, here's Johnson. And Johnson lost the football. It's loose, poked out, and it's picked up by the Panthers. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. Often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not even gonna tip it. I'm gonna doff my cap to him. Congratulations, big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> Go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays Ready. from one of your better Ready. players and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. Call it a loss of two on the play. And it'll be second and 12. I think there's one element that just keeps increasing on defense in the NFL, and that's speed. They want it at every position, and we just saw there some linebackers who can go sideline to sideline, run past that trash, go past people, and make tackles near the sidelines. Not only near the sideline, but also in the backfield there for the loss. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Newton going to hand it off to McCaffrey. And this play a lot like the previous one, thanks to that stout Cardinal defense. Back to back, they've been tackled behind the line. Well, that play was over before it even got started. Thanks for nothing, huh? How about that? That sets up a very difficult third down call now. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. This is Newton off the play fake to McCaffrey. Pressure and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. Chandler Jones, one of the best athletes to ever come out of Rochester, New York, in for the sack. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. Here's Michael Pilardi now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away.
And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And this is a unit that, to be frank, doesn't look like they've woken up yet. I mean, a punt and a turnover on their first two drives. And I think the game's starting to take shape a little bit now. And I'm going to take it into the basketball world. When you're having trouble scoring or moving the ball in basketball, what do they do? Get it to their best player, right? Find a matchup, create it, exploit it, and try and move the football. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at the 20. Murray now on first down. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Murray again, second and 10, rolling to his right. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Nice job there defensively. A great time to dial up a blitz. And give him credit under center instead of throwing it away. Actually a pretty good job of getting past the line of scrimmage, not losing yardage. And we've got movement by one of the big boys up front for Arizona. Flag comes in. Yeah, maybe they were coming with a blitz that time, and it caused a jump. I think if we saw it, you know that they saw it. Might have been a little discussion down there. Bad guys coming. Pick them up. Pick them up. And someone jumped. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now. Third and long. Throwing now is Murray. And this is going to be incomplete. Not much going on this drive. Looks like they're going to have to punt it away, CD. And right now, I know a lot of their fans are screaming for the OC to change things up, get away from what he's been calling. Sometimes you just need better execution of the plays that have been called. Here's Andy Lee now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. It's taken to the 26. A good return there, call it 13 yards. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. Carolina getting set to take the field. They've got the lead, last time had to punt it though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front, you know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10. On first down, it's Newton. Quick slant, caught by Moore. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. D.J. Moore went through some ups and downs his rookie season, but really finished with 55 catches, the most among Panthers not named Christian McCaffrey. And now with Devin Funches gone to Indianapolis, he's going to be the true WR1 for the Panthers. They'll run with McCaffrey. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. This is McCaffrey. And nowhere for him to go again. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. Tackle made there by Buda Baker. He gets nothing on back-to-back -back runs, so now you're dealing with a third and 10 and probably a passing play. I would agree with that, and I would highly suggest to the play caller, check a different part of that section on your play sheet because his first two runs didn't help you at all. Find someone else who can touch the ball and maybe move it downfield. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get the third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down.
Here's Michael Pilardi now as he's on to punt for Carolina. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. A little soul searching now? I would say so. And they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the yeah, field a lot positions. more than normal, put them in some tough spots. But what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And still no points on the scoreboard. You're coming off of the three and out. They're just looking for anything to grab onto right now, aren't they? I'm wondering if someone's going to take charge in the huddle. You know, we always look and look to the quarterback, but sometimes there's another player on the team, a star, a veteran, someone with some excitement and energy. It's like, all right, guys, let's shake things up and let's go, because they still have an opportunity to make things happen. Shake it off. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. It's a gain of five, and that'll bring up second down. Before this season started, Johnson said this new offensive system would allow him to really be effective in the passing game. He actually likened it to 2016 when he had almost 900 receiving yards. He said one of his goals is to become the third player in league history to hit 1,000 yards rushing and receiving in the same season. They also noted that he's really comfortable in this scheme. It's like his days, his college days at Northern Iowa when he was part of a team that based out of a shotgun with a running quarterback. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Now Murray. And a throw there going to be incomplete. And what did we talk with them about prior to the game? Their ability to move the chains, pick up first downs. So far, 0 for 3 on third down. If that continues, they'll have little chance of winning this one. Here's Andy Lee now, as he's on to punt for Arizona. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well. So that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. On first and 10, Newton. Throw left side, McCaffrey's got it. And he'll be upended after a gain of five, up to the 25-yard line. Five yards on the pickup, and it's a second down. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together, when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why, what we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play, one-on-one -on -one matchup of someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. The Panthers on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This will be third and five. Newton. 
Got a man right side. It's McCaffrey. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Here's Michael Pilardi now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Kirk now, the return man. 51 yards on the punt there. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. And our focus now moves on to Larry Fitzgerald. They've got to be thinking, how can we get him a little bit more involved here? Second quarter, you're down, and really, he's been out of the mix. I would agree with that, and oftentimes you hear, well, we're just taking what the defense is giving us, but sometimes that's just not good enough. Sometimes you have to take what you want, and that means getting him the football. Yeah, so far just a single catch in this game. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Throwing on first down is Murray. Oh, that was dangerous. Throw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Back to the air on second down, it's Murray. And an alley to run. Murray fighting, lost the football. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. Defense. So that flag will cost them 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. A shotgun snap for Newton. And Olsen over the middle. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. got a yard out of that last completion and that makes this second and nine Newton to throw he finds his man the tight end Olsen the Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half They had great starting position to begin the drive, but now they look up at a third and five. From the gun, here's Newton. He'll get this to McCaffrey out of the backfield. A gain of seven, and they pick up the first. This is something that we expected to see. McCaffrey used out of the backfield. 107 catches in 2018, the most in one season by an NFL running back. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. From the right hash, this from an even 40 yards out. And his kick is good. And the lead moves to 10-zip. 
So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. Spins by. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This game's had a little bit of everything thus far and certainly plenty to look forward to as the teams are right back out there for the second half. So we'll get right back out there as well as we'll turn it back over to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. So here's the Cardinals offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. They try and run on first down, but to no avail. Tackled for a two-yard loss in the backfield. Hate to say it, but that play typifies what we've seen from this offense all game long. Yeah, don't you think maybe you flip over your play sheet as the offensive coordinator and see the side that says try something different? <laughs> you know, because this has not worked all game long. They continue to try and get it done. They've got to come up with something a little bit different. Try something special, something they haven't seen. Anything to score a point. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Here's Murray. Open man is Kirk. Complete. That catch good for five. It's third down. It's a game of five. Brings up third and seven. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun on third down, Murray. And he's got Fitzgerald. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. 
Nice catch right there. Brings to mind the sentence. When in doubt, find your veterans. He used to laugh back in the day when they would call guys like him crafty veterans. You, you get up in your 30s, you're still playing receiver, but you're around that long at that position, you're doing something right. Just remember this. When he was young, he thought the crafty veteran was simply a guy who couldn't run anymore. Now he understands a little bit better. First down, Murray. Caught on the left side, Fitzgerald. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Again, they'll throw with Murray. Caught left side, Williams. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Murray's going to keep this himself on the RPO. Throw right side is going to be caught by Kirk. That one good for 26 and a first down. When you call a wide receiver screen, no matter how many blockers you get in front of the guy that catches the ball, there's still an aspect of the guy catching it, turning into a runner, breaking tackles and creating his own yardage, and he just did on that play. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll try and run. This is Johnson. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Bear in mind, that wasn't a big lineman back there for the tackle for loss. That was a cornerback. So are you saying the myth has been shattered? That all of them are not just cover corners? Some of them actually will stick their nose in and tackle when necessary? That's what we just saw, isn't it? Now from the nine, here's second and goal. To Johnson again. And for a second straight play, just nowhere to go thanks to this Carolina defense. He lost two there, and it's third down. So statistically, both of these offenses having a rough time getting a running game going. But boy, what a nice play there defensively. Tackling him behind the line, but you're right, you look at the numbers. Neither side looks on track in the ground game. They've been stuffed twice here for losses. Now it's third and goal. Here we go. They'll try to run it in. Johnson. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, so no help there. And now fourth and goal. This defense continues to be good on third down. I mean, they haven't allowed a touchdown offensively. Are you saying, let's go for this? Let's try to get it in the end zone. I don't know about that because of what you just described. They've been so good, and they don't give up the big play that you would expect in downs one through three. Why should fourth down be yeah, any different? True. You might want to go ahead and kick the field goal and see if you can figure out something else as this game moves on. Gonzalez's kick is good. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. 
They had it first and goal. Three attempts, couldn't get it in, so they settle for three. Yeah, the field tends to shrink a little bit the closer you get to the goal line, doesn't it? It doesn't sound right. It sounds a little counterintuitive. But you run out of space to run the deep routes, so they can just sit on the shorter stuff if you're going to throw it. If you want to run it, there's just not as much space. They end up having to take three there. After the field goal, here's Gonzalez to kick it off. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Panthers offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. <laughs> They'll try to get the running game going with McCaffrey. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Now Newton. Incomplete. Tight end has become a bigger and bigger part of the passing game in the NFL, but if you drop the football, that position can get swapped out with a you know, wide receiver in that spot, a running back in that spot. There are other ways they can go if you're not going to catch the ball. And that's not just his first drop, his second drop of the game. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. And they've got the hookup. This is Olsen. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Newton to Olsen there for a Carolina first down. I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. This is Newton off the play fake to McCaffrey. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. Cam fighting, he lost the football, it's out. And the Cardinals have got it, going the other way. And his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. When I see a play like that, I come back to risk-reward. I don't know about you, but is it worth it at that point, whatever you're going to pick up, to either take the hit, and in this case, lose the football. So should have gone down. I mean, hindsight's always 20-20, but that's the safe play. You're exactly right. Hindsight's really never wrong, is it? Because you can analyze it, but I think ultimately you've got to look at it as a first option, taking care of the ball, getting what you can, and that's it. Don't worry about it anymore. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10. And we've got movement by one of the big boys up front for Arizona. Flag comes in. And that'll set him back five. Here we go. 
The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point? The kicker. Exactly. You put it through the post, that's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him in contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> toe bash. I don't know about toe that. Toe it. <laughs> Super toe. <laughs> on second and 15 now Murray and now the ball's out fumble near midfield and it's picked up by the Panthers and he's able to get it back here to the 43 yard line welcome back to the desert we're in Glendale it's the Panthers out in front and in control of the football as well as we begin quarter number four Complete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. To throw again. Newton. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. They'll get nine there as that sets them up better for third down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, here go, here go. somehow yeah, came ready? back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. He lost two, and it brings up fourth. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know, defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. And he hits the upright, but it caroms in anyway. Boy, plenty of distance there as he banks it in. And they will stretch their lead to 10 now at 13-3. So his second field goal of the game, and that could turn out to be the big one. Yeah, you have to make them score twice to beat you, and that's not impossible. But here in the fourth quarter, puts their backs clearly against the wall. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long, they've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah. yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 26. And they'll start the drive on the ground with Johnson. And he's going to get about seven yards on that one up to around the 33. A lot of people felt Johnson was a little misused during what was a disappointing 2018. 940 yards on the ground, seven touchdowns. Great for most, but not the season Johnson was hoping for. 
And he said this offseason, there are a lot of good running backs in the NFL, but I'm the best. And now he's trying to prove it, hoping to get back to the production that sent him to the Pro Bowl in 2016. That would certainly help his rookie quarterback. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Seven yards there at a first down. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. First and ten, here's Murray. That's going to be caught by Kirk. A really nice gain of 25 yards. to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Murray now on first down. Fitzgerald bringing it in over the middle. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. First and 10. Check, check, watch 54, watch 54. Push him back, push him back. Murray now on first down, steps away. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Shaq Thompson making his presence felt on the sack. And you hate to say it with a rookie quarterback, he's done some good things, but overall, looked a little bit overwhelmed back there, hasn't he? He certainly has, but in his defense, he hasn't had a lot of time to throw the football. You like the way I said that? In his defense. In his defense. I got it. You yeah. see what I did there? Yeah. He okay. needs better protection, that's for sure. The sack cost him only a yard. It's second and 11. Let's go, D. Let's go. Now Murray throwing on second down. Left side here, caught by Clay. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Murray on third down. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. K1 short with a sack. That's 315 pounds a man right there. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. They come up on a fourth down situation with things not looking particularly rosy. And the kick by Gonzalez is good. And they will cut the lead back down to a touchdown now at 13 to six. So you knew one way or another that they needed the two scores. They get the easy one out of the way. Now they'll get the ball back, hopefully. Yeah, and the question is, how do you accomplish that? Do you onside kick it? Or since you have all three timeouts, do you kick it deep? To me, I'm playing field position with all three timeouts. I kick it deep and try and pin them back there. After the field goal, here's Gonzalez to kick it off. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. 
Carolina getting set to take the field. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. slant caught by Moore and whistles and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 153 left another yard would probably put this thing in the books it's second and one the ground McCaffrey and he'll be brought down right around the 37 now the cards going to call another timeout their second and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down They're not totally home free yet but it's looking good as they come up first and ten Here's McCaffrey. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. And that's going to lead to a third and 11. And this is why the head coach gets paid the big bucks. Look at where they are in this situation, partner. Do you throw the ball here in a long-distance situation? Do you run it again and trust your defense and make sure you take care of the ball and punt it away? What kind of options do you have here, and what do you trust more on your team? Yeah, they may have just pushed him back into that throwing situation. We'll see. So here we go, Charles. Third down. Any chance you're throwing? I don't think so. I think you got to keep the clock rolling here. And they, in fact, will throw it. And they'll get him down at about the 37, well short of the first. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. First down would have been nice, but now you get to kick the field goal, still go up two scores. They tried to get it, though, didn't they? Through the pass, got the completion just short of the first down. But you're exactly right. Run the field goal unit out there. Kick it. Put it through the post. Go up two scores. Here's Michael Pilardi now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And he didn't quite have the backspin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. So out now come the Cardinals. Critical condition here, obviously. Got to hope to get something quick right and then maybe take that shot deep. And once they do take the big shot, you've got to worry on defense. Of course, no one getting behind the defense and make it an easy throw. But nowadays, it's not just the ball being tipped in the air and people in the end zone in a cluster. It's that guy that's short of yep. the end zone who comes up and ends up making the play because he goes unguarded. So there's a lot to think about if you're playing defense in this situation. We'll see if they can cover all their bases. Murray to throw. He's going to let it fly. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. After the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 20. Back to throw, Murray. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. He was looking for Charles Clay as tight end. And it's third down. And 
The Cardinals on third down. They've had their troubles, just one for six. This is third and 10. Murray, one final try. Pressure comes in, he's brought down. It's a Panther sack. Well, we saw a close game that kept us on the edge of our seats down to that final whistle. And right before that final whistle, defense with one last exclamation mark there getting the sack to end it. I love how you phrased it because we were waiting to see what would happen. Obviously, we thought something would happen downfield. Instead, it happens in the offensive backfield, and that's your ball game. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long and sign off from the desert. <laughs>